I'm Brian Riley. I'm the co-founder of Guardian Bikes, and I use 3D printing to invent. We build our bikes to be the safest kids' bikes in the market. That's our number one thing. My grandfather got in this really serious head over handlebar accident, grabbing his front brake too hard and flipping over the front of the bike and landed on his head and like broke several vertebrae in his neck. And it was like a pretty serious accident. So we wanted to come up with something that prevented the front wheel from locking and was this one lever experience. And so that idea of, of kind of tiering the braking system where the your lever is actually doing your rear brake and then the force of that rear wheel is used to actuate the front solves both of those those challenges in, in one. The first biggest hurdle was taking something from an idea that worked and those initial prototypes and evolving those prototypes into something that just made sense to put on you know a ton of different bikes. So in the early prototypes we almost had to be custom um, like the angles and the way that it was attached to the bike and stuff almost had to be a custom version for every single different kind of bike that you put it on. So um, it was a hurdle going through those product development cycles of continuing to develop. How do we make it adjustable? How do we make it smaller? How do we make it cheaper to manufacture? How do we make it faster to manufacture? How do we make it so that it integrates on the majority of bikes? You know, access to our own 3D printers, our friends 3D printers or whatever. We were able to just take that thing off the screen and get that thing into a physical part the same day, throw it on a bike and actually see if it worked or see if it fit or... and. Almost immediately, I'm sure every other you know product developer has this experience. It's like as soon as you get that thing into a physical form and you put it on a bike, you're like, oh, I didn't think about this or this or that. And then you go immediately make that change, and then you go print it again, and now you got the second generation. And you can go through that iteration cycle five, six times within a matter of, of a couple of days. And that would have probably taken those same five, six iterations would have probably taken three months. Um, doing it the other way. So it was just the speed of how fast we could go from an idea to actually iterating the problems out of it to something that worked, um, that really kind of, you know, sold us on how important it was for us to have 3D printers and for us to be using them all the time. And um, and it just kind of changed the way that we we are able to, to uh, you know, improve products and, and devise new things quickly. As the machines have evolved, uh, things just keep getting better and better and better. And uh, to now the machines that I have behind me, I basically could have any of our guys in our company use them. And even though they, they don't even have experience working with any other 3D printers, they're able to, to use them just fine. And so it's, it's to the point now where you pretty much hit print on the computer and the thing will start printing and you don't have to really do anything to the bed. You don't have to, you don't have to tinker with it much at all. It just starts printing and It'll run and it'll, you'll come back three hours later and your part will be sitting there. When we started this company years ago, developing our first 3D printers, we knew it was a tool that was going to be used in a number of impactful ways. And to see Brian and the team over here at Guardian Bikes, 3D printing prototypes of their SureStop technology, putting them on kids' bikes all over the world and helping with kids' safety is extremely inspiring. It's amazing and we couldn't be more proud to represent a company like this.